Family Fun Channel and today we're going to be cooking up something delicious in our kitchen. We're going to be making clams zuppa and I believe Duane is going to be highlighting some of the zuppa sauce in an upcoming wings video where he's going to try to make buffalo wing zuppa but today we're going to make little necks actually not just clams little necks of uh, zuppa. Let me show you what you need. Very easy very quick. We have I don't know exactly um, by weight how much we have here in Little Necks, but we have Little Necks that Dwayne has already washed, cleaned, and did a, uh, I guess an oatmeal uh, overnight so it could get really clean and ready for today. We're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil, some white wine, about a can and another smaller can of diced tomatoes in tomato juice. You can also use San Marzano tomatoes or Centene tomatoes, any type of tomato in a can. Of course, we're gonna have some black pepper, some garlic powder. I will also use some minced garlic as well. And of course, we want parsley and we want basil. Now you can use fresh parsley and fresh basil. I'm gonna use what I have on hand today, so I'm going to use the dry variety and one large onion, roughly chopped. Um, of course, you'll want some sea salt for flavoring and right before the end, maybe some dried chili flake or pepper flake to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of heat. And we'll show you how this all comes to get all comes together very very quickly. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop, um, rough chop my um, onion, and then I'll be back and show you how you make this sauce up and how you cook the little necks in the sauce right on the stove. Okay, so I am back, and there is uh, there are two things I brought back with me. Um, first of all, I am rough chopping the onion. But this is the minced garlic that I had mentioned before. This one happens to be minced in water. And I forgot to mention, I'm gonna drop a little bit of clam juice in it. It really needs to be sauced up so it's got a lot of gravy to sop up with your bread. All right, I'm gonna finish chopping the onion. Meet you at the stove. So, Little Neck Zuppa, um, I think it's Zuppa or Zuppa. I've seen it and I've heard it said, uh, I've heard it said both ways. I'm actually not sure which one it is. Um, I would imagine because it's Italian, it would be zuppa. Um, it's, it's a very common dish. In fact, most Italian restaurants, many Portuguese restaurants even have a variation of this, although they don't call it zuppa, they call it um, Spanish style. Um, but here we go with a classic Italian style zuppa. First and foremost, the olive oil. And I'm using the pan here, but I'll give you a much closer look once I start cooking. But olive oil first, then minced garlic. And I'm going to turn on the stove top. And before I put the olive oil in, I will lower this camera so you can get a better view. There we go. All righty. So now for the olive oil, make sure we coat the bottom. There it is. Next up, I'm going to use a full tablespoon of this minced garlic, a hefty tablespoon. See that? When I make a base like this, I actually find it um, better to add some of my spices and some of my seasonings. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder as well. Mix that in there with the oil. I find it gets a little bit more aromatic. Here is some parsley, dry parsley, and some dry basil leaves. As you notice, per usual, I'm not measuring anything. I've, I'm not afraid of um, messing things up. Once you start tasting things, you can uh, certainly bring it up to your taste level. So see what I'm doing here? I'm using the olive oil as a base. Next, my rough chopped onions go right in there. And you do want these onions to get soft. There's obviously not enough liquid in here in order to do that. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of this clam juice. You can also use a broth if you'd like. 
But since we're making Little Mix and I have clam juice at home, why not use the clam juice? And we'll let this go. In fact, I'm going to bring up the heat. It smells really good. Now would be a good time to add a pinch or maybe a little bit more of salt. You can always taste it later to add more. So go light on the salt at first until you do get to the final tasting. Some crushed black pepper. I use terricelli, is that what it's called? Chili? Uh, no. It's, a, it's the pepper that you grind, but I buy the, the peppercorns. I used to know the name of it because I order it from Amazon all the time. And here we go. The onions do need to soften. There's nothing like the smell of olive oil, onion, Now you don't need to, but I am going to add, and this is kind of a last minute add here, I am going to add a little bit of just Italian herbs. Not a lot, we don't want to overpower this with oregano or anything like that, but this is a nice Italian herb blend. So I will add this to the sauce. And I am watching the liquid level here. Once the onions start to soften a little bit, it is a good time to enter with the diced tomatoes. You know, I, I set a can of this size and maybe a smaller can. Let's see how it looks from the liquid perspective and the ratio between sauce and clam. I may not need that second can. That's okay. I can always make a nice spaghetti sauce or a marinara sauce with that can that I've uh, set aside. So this is looking quite nice. And by putting the tomatoes in a little bit earlier, you actually give time for these flavors to marry. All right, so this is looking very nice. Time to hit it with a little bit crushed red pepper flakes. You can also put in a few dashes or more than a few dashes if you like of your favorite um, hot sauce. I think everyone who watches the channel knows what my favorite is. Although I also very much like crystals, which is the one that you tend to see in Louisiana, especially in New Orleans. So I'm gonna add some of this. If you like Tabasco, that's fine. If you like uh, Portuguese pd pd, or if you like an Italian type of hot sauce, now would be a good time to add. Remember, things do get a little more spicy with time. So I like to put the pepper in fairly early. Okay. I will now add some white wine. Any white wine will do. In fact, um, the only wine I actually had open was a rosé, Prosecco. I'm having trouble with this. Hmm. And um, I think that'll make it too sweet. So something dry, something white, um, any Chardonnay, any Pinot Grigio. This happens to be white cooking wine that you can buy in any grocery store. Okay, having forced, finally, I'm going to add my wine. I would say I've added maybe half a cup, maybe not quite. Um, you have to watch the liquid level here. Okay, now that's pretty much simmering away, I'm going to add the Little Necks. And the Little Necks will cook up in this sauce, release their juices, and they should all open up beautifully. And if they don't, then you don't want to eat that one. You don't want to eat any shellfish that doesn't open. I think when Dwayne was um, cleaning and feeding them last night so they can get nice and clean, um, one or two that were in the bag where we, uh, you know, that, that we purchased the little necks in didn't open, so he already tossed those out. They're all slightly open from eating that oatmeal. Here we go. I 
absolutely no sand in these. Nice job, Dwayne. There's nothing that I hate more than clam boils, little nets, cherry stones, any kind of shellfish when they're still sandy. That just ruins any dish, ruins anything. I'm actually going to bring up the heat a little bit. Mix the stuff in here. Should start to see them open up pretty soon. Now, you can actually make this and serve it over pasta. Or you can make this and you can just um, get some nice toasted bread, hard rolls, soft rolls, toast, focaccia. You can grill it or you can just use it straight out of the straight out of the oven or right out of the package and this sauce is magnificent for dipping it really is you don't necessarily have to keep stirring but i'm just trying to make sure that i'm coating um and looking at the uh, little necks to make sure they're going to start to open in the heat and in the steam of the sauce here we go Mmm, smells fantastic. And let's give you a closer look at what this looks like in the pan. So they're not ready yet, but you saw what it looks like while it's simmering away. They'll totally open the shell. Yep. So it's still simmering away. You can see that the onions are getting translucent. Let's see how they're opening up. Yep, starting to. I can almost get the edge of my spoon in there. You know, and you really want to watch, like I said, the liquid level here. Right now it's looking a little thick. Add a little bit more wine. Never too much wine. And perhaps a little bit more clam juice. Just a little. There we go. Making it saucy. One of the great things about making a, a zuppa like this is, you know, after you've eaten and all the little necks are gone, you can actually freeze this base and you can make other things with it. Sauces, you can mix it with rice and make a different type of seafood rice if you'd like, or um, even as a base for a paella. Look, now you can see they're totally opening up. See, the tomatoes are actually falling into the shells. See? Nicely. Nicely done, but it still needs to open up more. They need to be completely open. And then you can actually, <laughs> you know, you can actually drink up the sauce from the from the open uh, shells. And sometimes the little necks cook themselves right out of the shell and also blend into this sauce. This is so amazing. It just, my whole house smells delicious right now. And it, it looks so fancy and it tastes like a million bucks, but... You've seen how easy it is to pull together and how few ingredients you really need. And uh, yeah, it's one of those things that if you ever have anyone coming over and you're wondering what kind of uh, appetizer can I make that you, you think most people will enjoy and will like, this is one of them. You can certainly make it with cherry stone clams, little necks, um, and regular size clams. I prefer this. This is a really good size little neck for, for this. When they're too small, you know, I, I just like them a little more meaty. Here, you can see the inside of one of them here. See? So they're actually a quite meaty little neck. See what I mean about the shells completely opening, completely opening. And that's all there is to it. There you have it. Um, these are clams, little necks, Zupa style. And thank you so much. I'll give you a closer look now that it's finished. And stay tuned. And stay tuned for more uh, food fun and lots of adventure, hopefully some boating uh, and fishing uh, videos to come as well. 
And thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you haven't already, please thumbs up this video. It really helps the channel. Thank you all and see you soon. There's Dwayne eating the suppa and dipping the bread. Dipping my bread. Yeah. Nice and dipped. I've got to say, this stuff is yummy. And there's no reason um, that you have to wait really to good. order it out at a restaurant. You can easily make this at home very, very quickly. Serve it with any kind of bread, any kind of toast. You're golden. All right, signing out. Thank you for watching. Thank you.